Hey, this is Mike Johnston, and today I want to talk to you about something a little bit different. If you're um, an artist who produces music, this may be something that's at least worth thinking about. There's there's a lot going on today in a uh, a field called influencer marketing, and that's basically you know where you find somebody who is a social network influencer or a web influencer, a blogger, or whatever, who has a big audience of people who like what you create you know if, if it's you know a big heavy metal blog and you ha and you produce heavy metal then great if you know it's hip-hop if it's pop if it's whatever then there is probably a group of people out there who can help you promote your material to a bigger audience and anyway so how do little kids come into this well that's interesting because I have a six-year-old Okay, and she has music that she likes, and um, she found if you, an artist called Meg Myers, who is somebody that I found uh, like two years ago. I don't even remember how, but I, I found her music and I started listening to it. I liked it. I had her music on my iPhone, and when we were in the car, I would play it on the radio, and she heard it. And she liked it. My our little girl. So okay fine she had an artist who is at least alternative and not really undiscovered certainly but I mean she does big festivals and stuff um, so she's not really undiscovered but you know it's somebody I liked it as a mainstream anyway so and that didn't really make me think too much but then what did is she's just finding like a steady stream of music that I had never heard that she suddenly liked and she was asking Google Home to play these songs and I'm like where do you get these songs because I mean she plays Roblox a lot um, I mean she's set up in the living room so that you know somebody's always there when she's like playing Roblox or Minecraft or, or on YouTube or whatever and she has a YouTube kids account but somebody's always right there anyway so um, I'm like how do you find these songs and she's like Oh, you know, and I, I assumed before I actually asked her that there were songs that people were playing, like, within the games on Roblox. And then uh, I, I did a little research and I realized that, like, no, that's usually not th the case. It's usually people that are playing that are the game that are playing music, like when they do a gaming video. You know, because she watches like Ethan Gamer and stuff like that, people playing games, and, and they sometimes have music on, on their gaming videos. But that's not through the game, which, and I already told a couple people, like, I know a lot of like all in, in undiscovered artists and stuff like that, and I'd be like, hey, you know, kids listen to music that plays while they play games, and that's kind of awesome. It's like kid radio, you know, you can actually reach them this way if you can find the vehicle that lets you do it. And so I started doing a little research and I found out it wasn't that simple. But then I actually asked because I was kind of frustrated and she told me that the way she finds music is on YouTube through kids' videos. And I was like, wait, what? I mean, she likes like Imagine Dragons. She likes um, a bunch of other stuff that, that are, are pretty mainstream and not so mainstream. Um, like Dollhouse, if, if I forget her name. But if you've never heard that song, look it up. I like her. She does. I listened to a bunch of her stuff when I first heard it, and uh, her first heard Dollhouse, and it's it's kind of a, a, a tilted sort of viewpoint of things. But I like that kind of music anyway. So it's Dollhouse. Oh, I wish I could remember her name. I can't remember her name, but anyway, yeah, Dollhouse. You'll find it. Um, and anyway, and so and I said, well, what kind of YouTube videos are you listening to? Because you know, you're six, you don't go out looking for music. And she's like, no, they're on LPS videos. And I was like, what, seriously? Like, Littlest Pet Shop. She's a fan of Littlest Pet Shop characters. And I'm like, really? So she's like, yeah. And I just play that in the background while I play Roblox. And then it just keeps playing song after song after song. And that's how I discover music. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's totally amazing you know I mean there's been some stuff in the last like year or so about like people making like these really weird you know gross morbid violent videos aimed at the little kid market just to get their channel you know views so they can build the channel up and it's it's not like that it's just people 
a lot of times adults doing little videos with like LPS characters like do 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 making them dance and stuff like that well here let me show you I'll show you what I'm talking about <clears throat> Okay, so here we are at YouTube. We we'll just do L P S music videos. Okay, and right away you come up with here is Havana by Camilla Cabello. Camilla Cabello. And then here's another popular one is Little Do You Know, and uh, that's that's a really popular one. And then uh, I'm a mess. Uh, worth it. Look what you made me do. Another popular one that Vi likes. Um, love story. Happier marshmallow featuring Bastille. Uh, music video Lost Boy. And it's obviously not all adults making these videos. There's kids too. Without me, Halsey. And anyway, and just to uh, give you an idea here, without hopefully being slapped too hard for uh, copyright here is what these videos look like and they're not all the full song like this was only a minute 23 but there you see they're not like oftentimes cheaply made video that somebody actually takes the time to make a decent looking video um, with a lot of camera work and, and um, text and things like that you know to and lighting to spice up the antics of the little LPS characters and what I want you to see here though is look at this 1,216,278 views now in a lot of cases I'm sure the channel owners are doing it to try to boost you know their channel numbers and reach new viewers but at the same time what if you look at it from the perspective of the, the artist and say okay I want to reach this huge market of kids who like music and who are going to grow up liking music and who are at the age where maybe they don't spend their own money but their parents spend money on them and you know maybe I can get my music out there and get it heard more what's wrong with making an LPS video the cost seems to be pretty low you know a couple of LPS figures a camera and you know some video editing software and if you're into making videos relating to your music you probably already have all that stuff or you could perhaps contact one of the channel owners who um, already make these videos and, and just say hey would you like to use some of my music I'm you know perfectly willing to let you do that and apparently they don't care if they get a copyright flag because they're doing it with major label artists and you know they're going to get a flag for that and just you know they can't make any ad revenue and they'll trade that off for a million two views so um, it's just something that I, ha I don't see talked about a lot which is a great up-and-coming market and this is an already established vehicle to use music to make music reach that market and it's pretty ingenious and even though it I don't think it evolved it as a music promotion tool it's very easy to turn it into that so I hope you liked the video and if you do please like subscribe and I hope it helps you out a little bit thanks a lot for watching see you next time bye